Hey, what's up? David here with After Video Effects, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I decided to show you guys how I created this scene using Video Copilot's Element 3D and Motion Design 2 packet. So there are a lot of uh, steps on how I created the scene. So firstly, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. So let's get straight into it. So let's just shut off all these eyes first. Other than the camera. So firstly, I've got a elevator base, or in this case, a, a rooftop. So if I jump into scene setup. Okay, so here we are in Element 3D, and as you can see, it's a pretty simple setup. All I've used is, is some boxes and some of uh, Video Copilot's rooftop packet. I'll leave a link in the description for where you could download the packet. But it's a pretty simple setup, and most of the time it's just compositing, seeing what works, seeing what looks right, and all this kind of stuff. So, we've got some boxes, and we've got some. Uh, cylinders for these like little buttons I added some wires and I added some you know like this concrete texture and these like these boxes have like a metal texture that has a different diffuse color on it so that's pretty much the setup for the rooftop or in this case the elevator shaft okay next thing I added was this element 3d corridor like the outer area so if we jump into scene setup again okay so for the element 3d corridor it's quite a lot of detail to construct this scene so I'll break it down so I've got four separate folders and each one represents the wall so we've got the right side we've got the bottom we've got the left side and we've got the top which is that area so I'll just break it down one by one so if we look at the right side, all it is is basically some pipes and some boxes that I constructed that give this like diagonal scene and like this metal diffuse texture. And I think this is like the concrete slabs uh, material for this solid wall here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that section. So yeah, if you guys want to have a look, that's all the components I used. Uh, the next one is the bottom. So all it is is really some other more boxes, some pipes, and like just you know, lights as well. Uh, I think for this one I used like component 9 and I just got rid of everything else but the light. And I just start compositing it on top. And these are like extra box models that I just extruded. And yeah, these are all like other pipes as well. So yeah. So pretty s simple stuff. It's just a matter of deciding what fits into which area, all that kind of stuff. And this left side is pretty much similar to the right side i kind of duplicated because i felt lazy and <laughs> yeah and instead of and for this diagonal i used group pipes number one and i just like only kept like these two components for this uh pipes and yeah just pretty much similar made some new pipes and made some other composited some other elements into this and finally we got the top and as you can see it's almost the same as the bottom but I added some air vents and some more pipes and like this pipe junction box here so you can have a look here all this kind all this kind of stuff so yeah, that's pretty much it. This one actually has more components for this section here. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the um, corridor. 
So let's jump back into After Effects. Okay, so instead of creating like one huge elevator shaft or something like that, I actually just created one component as you saw like two minutes ago and just replicate use the particle replicator to replicate a whole scene of elevator shafts so that it makes it look like one component. So that was pretty cool. And I turned on some screen space ambient occlusion, some shadows. I enabled some glow as well for these lights here. And just positioned my camera so that I'm looking down. Okay. And this is just a null object for my elevator lift here for this. Uh, for that, yeah, you guys get the idea. <laughs> I added some lights. I got some two point lights and an ambient light just to give it some lighting. And what I did for this one is I added uh, illuminated this top area. Now, the reason why I wanted to do that, because as I turned on screen space ambient inclusion, it started to feel a little dark in this area. So I just created an adjustment layer and just created a mask on top of this and just cranked up the curves adjustment. So that makes it a little bit brighter. And then I feathered it out like maybe yeah, 250 pixels. Yeah. And then next thing I did was added some smoke elements. So as you can see, it's some smoke. I think these have like an opacity of like random, like around, yeah, 35 and 15%. Because they are laying on top of each other, so I don't want it to be too um, strong or blow out my scene. And then I finally added some color correction on top. So this can include like curves adjustment, some tint, and I added some RGB just to play, uh, just to brighten up the scene here. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the scene. I also, and just to give it some animation, I positioned my camera and just made it zoom down just to give it some animation so that we get some like, I don't know, thrill or something. I don't know. You can call it whatever you want. So I'll just do a playback for this. Okay, so let's check this out. Okay, so it's not looking too bad. Okay, one last thing you can do is add depth of field. So if you AA, turn on depth of field, it makes you focus more on this elevator scene here rather than the shaft itself. If you just play with these settings, uh, yeah, and you can just adjust the aperture as well, all that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, you guys can make your own variations. You maybe can add some more pipes. You can add change the color, or maybe you don't want the smoke elements. But uh, yeah, just have have a go. Uh, make your own variations for the elevator scene. Alright, guys. So that's it. So uh, thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name's David. I hope you learn interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so people can see it. Subscribe if you want to see more and be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.